B2B marketing, particularly with the Zoom explosion, is now potentially much, much more interesting than people realize. It was always treated as the poor relation simply because ad agencies were engaged in the business of, of essentially selling media space rather than solving problems. If you adopt, you know, the approach that the most interesting bit of marketing is, you know, bought communications, then, you know, stick with B2C. I would argue the most interesting thing about marketing and being in an agency is creative problem solving. And since you see more anomalies and biases in decision making in B2B uh, than you do in B2C, the potential for inventive problem solving in B2B and the potential for value creation is actually greater. Agreed. I mean, look at, looking at, you know, when I, I entered the, the B2B like 19 months, months ago, something like that, working in B2C all those times before, because it was all like foggy, mystic, no humanity, no emotions. And every, every company was talking about themselves, about the features, about the product, not in a way that they are solving the problem with their product, but only about the product. And, uh, you know, I think there's uh, so many... Oh, that applies in there. B2C. I mean, I actually went to a kitchen firm, uh -huh. okay? And uh, we said, well, presumably you take away our old kitchen when you sell us a new kitchen. No, you have to arrange that yourself. Okay, I'm going to go to a separate company to remove my kitchen before... Are these people total idiots, right? It's ridiculous. Okay. Understand where the problem lies with the person and understand their situation. Don't focus yourself around what you think you do. Focus yourself around where the consumer is or where the customer is. And the extent to which, never mind B2B, I mean, the, 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 the failures are probably worse yeah. than B2B. Um, but <coughs> extent to which, <coughs> the extent to which actually the the optimization of what a company thinks it does, not around consumer needs and human needs and unmet needs, but optimizing around what you think the official performance of some predetermined action might be, is a cast catastrophic misdirection of effort. And it leads to things I call a classic form of business weight, which is not unmet needs, it's met unneeds. In other words, the company getting more and more focused on doing things that consumers aren't really very bothered about in order to pursue some metric or other, while completely ignoring what it is. I mean, you know, 1-800-MATTRESS, okay, you know, a consumer company in the, U in the US. But I mean, they partly, they achieved something like 80% of the New York and Manhattan mattress market because part of their value proposition was, we take away your old mattress for free. What's the biggest problem of replacing a mattress if you live in New York City? Well, it might be money, but assuming you've got the money to buy a new mattress, and you've got the desire to buy the new mattress. The biggest hurdle is what the hell do I do with an old mattress in the middle of Manhattan, right? Yeah, exactly. And secondly, uh, if I get rid of my old mattress and then I discover my new mattress takes three weeks to fucking arrive, I'm sleeping on the goddamn floor, right? You know, I mean, look at it from the lens of lived experience, not through the lens of mathematical optimization. It isn't really difficult, but most organizations don't do it because most people in the organization have job descriptions which are defined it, with objectives and terms that are essentially orthogonal to the customer interest or the client interest. Yeah, and, and it's basically back to basics for most yeah. of the things, the, the oh. way I see it. And we are just tend to overcomplicate things over and over again. Well, I mean, we have to acknowledge the fact that a large part of the value created by marketing will never be measurable and will never be predictable in advance. It's there to some extent to, op to increase your opportunities for being lucky and to minimize your opportunities to being, you know, uh, to being what we might call fragile, you know, becoming over dependent on certain particular components. And so marketing is a probabilistic game. It's not a deterministic game. And as a result, um, it tends to get discounted when people design metrics and rewards and systems, which tend to be rewarded around what's deterministic, not what's probabilistic.